Alright guys, um, haven't made a new video of my nerd cave because I made one a, a couple of, uh, about a year ago? I guess a little bit more than a year ago and uh, I kind of just want to give you an overview of what it looks like now and uh, I'm going to try to break this down better than the last one instead of me just talking about like things while I'm moving around. So let's talk about, let's look at all the posters first because that's the easiest thing to see. Okay, so let's start off with probably my biggest prize in my opinion is, is my comics. Um, my wife bought me this and this poster. These are my characters from my comic that I'm personally making. Um, and then these right here, one, two, three, and four are the first four issues. Um, so I'm really proud. That's like my wall of uh, accomplishment, I guess, for me. It makes me uh, super happy to be able to, you know, put that up and look at it every day. Um, Captain America is something my wife bought me as well as a gift, and it looks super badass. Uh, we have Future Diaries, which... Let me move that out of the way. Sorry. This is my equipment that I use when I make the videos. But anyway, uh, Future Diaries, Stranger Things anime form. Looks pretty cool, huh? Um, and then we have Wonder, sorry, Wonder Woman, uh, Spider Woman. Um, then I have a couple of things here. Probably my two favorite quotes from these characters. Um, even though I'm not a huge fan of Dark Knight Rises, the comic. I love that quote. And then Green Arrow from Quiver. It's probably one of my favorite lines ever, plus it just looks great. Uh, there is uh, Tokyo Ghoul, um, and then we got uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 is probably my favorite one, next to Part 1. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Sora, this is one of my favorite posters ever, Venom just drooling on Spider-Man, it's just great. Uh, Life is Strange, which I never finished, but that's just a hot poster, so come on. And Wonder Woman's beautiful v uh, this is my other poster I really enjoy. It is um, the Trinity. I think it's cool. It's a small little poster I actually got for a dollar and I just really love it. And then we have Dragon Ball, which is kind of like my childhood. Um, always a huge fan of Dragon Ball, the original series. So one of my favorite posters. Uh, here's the Bat Family. Um, I'm sure you know them. Batman, uh, Damien, uh, Tim, uh, Jason, Dick, and then Barbara, Cassandra. Um, Batwoman and spoiler. So yeah, love that poster. Um, and last but not least, uh, these are my smaller posters. So Princess Manioke, um, Persona 3, Persona 4, titties, and, uh, and uh, Kingdom Hearts. Next up, let's talk about the action figures, um, or mostly statues are my big thing. Um, I really love them, so let's go over what, what I have recently. Some of them you might have seen in the old video, but I got quite a few new ones. So we got uh, the Rebirth statues, which are my favorite, obviously. We got Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman. Uh, then we got the little versions of them that I got for a dollar. Super cute. Um, up here we got uh, Batman, little cyborg. Batman from the Batman vs Superman, which I hate. Uh, we got uh, Tim Drake. We got Nightwing, Damian, which I had in my last video. We got this little cool little Flash, little Flash, and littlest Flash. And then we got Barbara Gordon as Batwoman with a little um, evil guy. Got his name. Wonder Woman. We got two Flashes. One from the new movie, which I actually really like that armor. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. Original Flash, um, which I think I'm going to try to get signed by the creator, the artist who did Flash Rebirth. Superman. Batman. Swamp Thing. Uh, Batman. And Batman. And then, oh, this little thing right here. Boom. Wonder Woman. Next up, we got mostly my wife's collection of figures here. Um, as you can see, we are big Funko Pop fans, but my wife is a huge horror fan. So I only own a couple of these here. The only ones that are actually mine would be this little Chucky dude, uh, this little uh, Texas Chainsaw, this little Freddy. As far as like the figures here, the only ones I own are this guy here, who Pennywise is my favorite ever. Um, character from horror, uh, especially since the book It is my favorite book of all time. Don't know if you guys ever seen it, but there's my It tattoo. Anyway, um, and Jason. Everything else from uh, Bride of Chucky, Chucky, Annabelle, Saw, um, Carrie, uh, Regan, uh, Fr Freddy, Jack T Torrance, Leatherface, Michael Myers, Eleven, um, Hannibal, and Pinhead. Those are all my wives. Characters are toys and she absolutely loves them so more power to her that's her collection 
some of these are mine as well, and some of these are my wives. Um, Silicon Valley are really both of ours. We both love that show. Preacher's mine. Uh, the Rick and Morty stuff's my wife. She loves it. And then that's my wife's as well. She loves Disney stuff. And these are my little characters from that game. I can't even remember the name of it, but who cares? Nobody watches it. And these are my Funko Pops that I had at work that I took home because I had too many at work. So, yeah. A little collection of those guys right there. And then this is my Marvel wall here. Um, kind of ends like right here where Cap is. Uh, most of you know this is kind of my prize collection character. Um, my old neighbor gave it to me as a gift and it's just one of the coolest things. It's Bucky as Captain America. Super awesome. Um, recently I got these three. So Luke Cage, Riri, and um, holy god. Spider Gwen? No, that's not Spider Gwen. That's Gwenpool. Sorry. Uh, Gwenpool. These guys are all little movie characters you got. So when you go to the movies you get these as part of the supersized drinks. Um, and then we got Hot Toys, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I am still a fan of even though not a lot of people like it. Um, there's a couple other toys, Andrew Garfield, uh, and then, I know it's a comic, but still I put that up here to represent Riri, that's uh, Invincible Iron Man, Iron Heart, uh, and then here's a couple of pops I have for Marvel. We got Venom, exclusive Hot Topic version, which is the cooler one, I love the blue, uh, Spider-Man. Homecoming, Gwenpool, uh, Rocket, and Ancient One, which I got for like $2. Um, and here is my anime collection, uh, which is pretty sizable, as you can see. Let's just look at the pops real fast. I have Riku, Ri, Ryuk, Ryuk, and L with a cake. He's a Hot Topic collector. Uh, love it. So my wife got me uh, as a gift. Love it. Trunks. We got uh, Tokyo Ghoul here um, with... Uh, the Kenny Kenichi, Ken, Ken, whatever the fuck's name is, he's awesome anyway. Anyway, uh, we got One Piece characters right here, which obviously they're both Luffy, but different ones. Uh, we got little One Punch characters here. We got uh, the girl from Neon Genesis Evangeline, Guyver, which is one of my favorite collection ever. Just so detailed and badass. Um, these are not anime, but you know, Rob Stark and Ygritte or whatever her name was. And this badass is not from Game of Thrones, though it looks like it could fit right in. It is from Might and Magic Got for Free. Thank you, Ubisoft. And then these are my Dragon Ball Z guys. Um, I don't know if you can see it's a little dark here. Got Trunks in the back. We got Tien, Gohan Super Saiyan 2, Goku Super Saiyan. Two little bobbleheads in the back. We got little Gohan, who's possibly my favorite design ever. Piccolo and a bootleg Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So that's it for my action figure collection. So here's some new ones I got. I have the complete Dragon Ball Saga all the way up until Dragon Ball Z starts, as well as Dragon Ball Super Volume 1, which I haven't read yet. I have Tokyo Ghoul 1 to 5, 1 being up there with the action figure. I Am a Hero, which not loving, anyway. And Monster, uh, the Ultimate Edition, which I gotta get the rest. Um, here's some Korean ones. Uh, PHD is okay. Warriors of Tao is okay. Parasite, possibly one of my favorite series of all time in terms of manga. Uh, just really well done horror. Very cool. Um, Sun... What's that called? Sun Dome, I think. Uh, is kind of like a weird semi-porn-ish thing. But it's kind of really depressing at the end. Check it out. It's weird if you like boobies. Uh, Bakuman, it's pretty good. Uh, Dance and the Vampire Bun, I got for all free and I don't really like it. GTO, love it. Treads of Time, good. The complete uh, Dead Man Wonderland series, all the way to volume 13. Uh, Junk, 1 to 7, the complete series. And Gimmick, 1 to 5, which is not the complete series, but there you go. Uh, okay, so let's start up here. We have. Uh, 20 Century Boy, Boys, sorry, uh, Volume 1, 2, I believe I have 15 now, um, so I'm almost completed. Um, we got Eye Shield 21, this is the complete series, all of it. Uh, I know I have some behind there. Oh well, something's behind there. Um, I got Volume 1 of Terraformers, which I have not read, seemed interesting. Tokyo Game, which is not very good, and then the complete Pokemon series up until like... 20 or something, I don't know, I bought them because I was going to a nostalgia trip. Um, here's a couple of other manga offbeat ones that I bought. Uh, the Lesbian Experience, which is like manga but American made. 
it's okay. Asylum Voice is pretty good, and Sailor Moon 1 to 2 is my wives. So we got those. Um, Flame Eureka, the complete series, got it all. Berserk, I'm almost fully caught up on the manga. I think I'm at 28. Yeah, 28. Uh, great series. Vagamon, I'm on 33. I think there's like two or three more volumes I have to catch up on. Um, Inu Yashiki Kaki, I don't know how to say it. But it's really good it's by the creator of Gans. Uh, I think there's eight volumes out now. I had the first five. Totally worth getting. Um, here we go. We got Akari. These are like the deluxe edition, so they're huge. And uh, I got the first two. I don't know what this is. And JoJo's Bizarre Thing, which I haven't really read much of. Uh, Identity, which I love. Uh, we got some Attack on Titan back there. Yeah, those are the side stories. Slam Dunk, funny as hell. Good stuff. Uh, King of Hell, I have like the first 15 volumes. Ajin is pretty good. I think I have the first six. Yep, the first seven. I have the seventh? Look at that. I have the seventh. I didn't even know I had that. I guess I have to read that. Um, <clears throat> Living Stone, I'm just missing the fourth volume, which is the last. Uh, Wolfman, which if you haven't seen my top five violent manga, this is it. Definitely check it out. Uh, Vinland, which I've only read the first volume, got to read two and then collect the rest. Fruits Basket, and you know, we got some Omnibus back here. If you want to see, it's Predator, Buffy, uh, Aliens, probably not good stuff. That's my, my stay away collection. All right, so we're moving over to Marvel. Um, the bottom is all hardcover and Star Wars stuff, so real fast, Star Wars. We got a couple of series like Vader and uh, the, the, just a the regular Star Wars series. And then we got a couple of comics I'm not even going to mention because I don't like these mostly. I put them down here to kind of just not look at them. Um, but anyway, I have the complete Avengers run of Hickman. So we start with volume one. I have volume two somewhere in my room. Uh, Infinity, which covers a lot of his run then they got two more hardcover volumes one i'm reading right now and then avengers time runs out and then secret wars so that's the complete hickman run uh new avengers i think i added a couple yeah i added the ones i was missing so i had the first seven volumes of new avengers that's uh bendis's run uh runaways i have volume one to three uh actually I have the whole thing i think this covers the whole series right there daredevil uh it's the first two Graphic novel volumes of Mark Wade's run. This is actually signed, which is super cool. Uh, all new Captain America I got for like six bucks. Hardcover. Uh, this is uh, the end of um, Rick Remender's run, which I will show you why I got that in a minute. Um, so, and these are some other hardcover. This is probably my prize is Captain America Omnibus. Uh, pretty much covers uh, a huge part of Ed Brubaker's run before Cap dies. Um, and then Ultimate Spider Man's death. And Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 4, 5, and 6. I have the first three as well. But my friend little Jimmy Jeremy Jammers has it. Uh, so we have the complete Ultimate X-Men run. Uh, from 1 all the way till the 19, which ends the original. And then they did uh, like all new X-Men, Ultimate X-Men, whatever. Uh, the whole Ultimate Spider-Man run is continued here. So the I had the first six in hardcover. Then they finish all the way here. And then uh, it ends with Volume... Uh, with the death of Peter Parker, and then we get into Miles. Um, I have the whole Alias collection, which I don't think I had originally in my original video, so one to four. Uh, we have uh, Jessica Joe, uh, sorry, uh, Spider Man, some big time stuff. We got Superior Spider Man one to five, I'm just missing six. We got Amazing Spider Man Worldwide, which is the current run, which is okay, I kind of gave up on it. We got Renew Your Vows, we have Daredevil, this is the rest of Mark Wade's run. All the way till his end, so I have his complete run, as well as the new Daredevil, which I have the first three volumes of the current run, which I really enjoy. All new Wolverine, um, all new Captain America, which I not Captain America, uh, Steve Rogers Captain America, which I like, and then I also have Rick Remender's complete run on Captain America too. That's why I got the all new Captain America the Falcon run because that's the end of his run so I have his whole run uh, I got X-Men Gold and Blue which I haven't read yet I have some Nova in here Infamous Iron Man the new Jessica Jones Champions Hawkeye Superior uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales uh, Patsy Walker Moon Knight and I think that's it right now um, and then I got the bigger collections here some of them you can see are Pulse which is kind of like a weird newspaper style comic for Daily Bugle, we got the complete Iron Fist collection, which 
I didn't like that much. I had the first two huge volumes of Black Panther, which are very good. First two Punisher Maxis, which are pretty good. Miles Morales' whole run before coming into our current 616 universe after Secret Wars. Uh, I have Spider-Man Big Time, the complete run. Daredevil, I got some of the bigger ones like The Man Without Fear, Born Again, Devil's Guardian, all liked it a lot. Ultimate Collection of Michael Force, um, the first volume. There's two volumes of Rick Remender's run, which I'm super excited to get into. So, sorry it's so dark. I don't know if it's going to be as dark when I'm looking at this little screen. Anyway, whew, we are done with Marvel and manga. So, we still got two more bookcases. So, let's get to it. Uh, this is uh, my image case. This whole thing is image, which is fucking insane. Uh, some of it's top cow and a little bit of vertigo, but mostly image. Um, so uh, the vertigos that I do have here, sorry if you can't see, is wanted, uh, uh, the pre uh, preacher, uh, some angel stuff, walking dead. I have the three compendiums right here, uh, the darkness, witchblade, hawk and uh, sorry, hawk and slash, hack and slash, and then why's the last man, which is still one of my favorite series, if not my favorite of all time. So those are my bigger books up here we have uh jupiter's legacy uh, and uh jupiter's circle so that's that series of mark miller's uh we have i hate fairy tales uh rain injection descender the fix um we stand guard nail biter copperhead the old guard monstrous seven to attorney capitar whatever spread uh, the Nightly News and God Country. And then on this side, I'm starting my Spawn collection. I have one to six. I'm missing five because it's like 50 bucks, so fuck that. Uh, Southern Bastards, Witches, Starve, Morning Glories, Sex Criminals, one to four. So I have the up to date Birthright. I have all of them except five I need to buy. Sunstone, one of my favorite series. I have a whole series. Haunts, which sucks. No, I got this all for $4. So Nowhere's Man, Think Tank, and Motor Crush. Then up here we have probably my, one of my most prized collections that I have right now is the a complete series of Invincible. Uh, as you can probably tell, Invincible is a huge inspiration to me in terms of Sparks. And I'm so glad that I can have every volume ever created up until the current one that just came out 24 and the last one coming out 25. East to West, I just ordered 5 and 6, so I have the first four. Rumble, I have 1 to 3. Saga, I have 1 to 7, so up to date. Postal, 1 to 5, so up to date. Uh, we got Rat Queens in here. We have um, Deadly Class 1 to 5, which up to date, love it. Paper Girls 1 to 2, I didn't love, so I didn't get 3 yet, I might. Black Science 1 to 6, up to date, love it. Tokyo Ghost is only 2 volumes, pretty awesome. Outcast 1 to 4, need to get 5, just came out. Bedlam, okay. Wayward, okay, have the first 3. Low, I have 1 to 4, uh, 1 to 3, I need to get 4, love it. Lazarus, one to four, got to get five, love it. Um, and then I got Killer B Kill, one of my favorite series, as you probably guys know. Thieves of Thieves, pretty cool, and Danger Club, fuck that. All right, We're almost done, guys. I'm getting tired. Uh, okay, this is my big collections down here. Like these are the monsters, as you can see. These are a thousand over a thousand pages. Um, this is the complete Jeff Johns run of Green Lantern. Uh, bought all three. They're about eighty dollars a pop online, about a hundred and thirty in person. Uh, each over a thousand pages. Um, I actually got these two and this for free. They were doing a buy two get one free, so I spent about a hundred and thirty to hundred and forty dollars for all three of these. I was pretty happy with that. But yeah, it's his complete run. I've only read the first volume, but it was amazing. It had the Sinesto War, so I really loved it. Uh, Spawn here. As you saw, I collected one to six. Spawn from uh, volume four here has um, the regular graphic novel, seven and eight. It has two and one. So I'm collecting them like this because the other way, unfortunately, they stop production, so I gotta buy them this way. Um, Rachel Rising, one of my favorite series of all times. So I would put it in top 10. It's great. You gotta check it out. S6 County, I didn't really love, but a lot of people do. Channel Zero, never read. And then Queen and Country, which I gotta read, I got for free. Um, here's some stuff as well. X uh, Machinima, which I have not read yet. Pride of Baghdad, amazing. Day Tripper, one of my favorite stories of all time. Made me cry. Losers, I got for five bucks all together. Not a fan. We Three. So good. Uh, Joe the Barbarian. I hate. Punk Rock Jesus. Haven't read. 
Sheriff of Babylon, haven't read her great things. The Flintstones, amazing. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's so good. Clean Room, awesome horror shit. Uh, you Follow, haven't read yet, heard good things. Hellblazer, haven't read yet, heard good things. Sandman, I finally started reading. I read the first volume, loved it, so I'm eager to get to that. And Scalped, very cool looking series. Have not read it yet. Looks super cool. I read like the first two issues a long time ago, didn't love it, but I'm eager to try it again. Um, all right, Powers, I have one to 13, so quite a bit. Um, read the first volume. Very cool, much better than that shitty TV show, so check it out. Uh, okay, so we're moving on to here. We got Love is Love, Hollow ho Horror County, which I've heard good things. Archie, Ju Jughead, these are all really cool. Um, nothing like Riverdale, so I not, I like Riverdale, but it's different. Giant Days is a huge shout out to this series. Super fun, super, super smart and clever. Umbrella Academy is uh, Gerard Wade's. My Chemical Romance lead singers comic and it's pretty good. Lumberjacks, I got three for five dollars, so I haven't read it yet. Black Hammer, overrated but pretty good. Um, Lock and Key is becoming one of my favorite series, done by Joe Hill, the son of Stephen King. Um, we got Strangers in Paradise, I got one to three for six bucks. I haven't read it yet, heard good things. Whew. I'm getting winded here. It's hot in here. Um, Valiant, very cool little series um, of some of them. Some of them are kind of shitty, but here's a couple I got, mostly for really cheap. At Comic Cons, they sell like the first couple of volumes for like five bucks, so I bought a bunch. I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, Sparks, that's my book. I keep it up here to remind me that, you know, we did it. We got a first graphic novel. I'm trying to get a little thing to hold it up. Ugh, but that's the end of that for my other stuff that's not really image like vertigo idw stuff like that and the last but not least dc so <laughs> i'm so fucking tired already um let's just go on uh so we got uh here's my justice league i don't know if you can see it's not much light but there's justice league at the end now justice league i have the whole series but the hardcover i have from volume three on but i do have the first couple in paper uh we got uh injustice starting with volume three i bought the hard covers um all, year three um but all the other years i have in paperback which you'll see so i have the whole injustice series up until the end can't wait for injustice 2 because injustice the original didn't end very good uh we got batgirl here and this is cassandra kane that's batgirl uh, very cool, very fun, love it. We got Supergirl. These are a bigger collection, so it's usually 12 to 16 inch issues and mostly like the 90s and 2000s stuff. This is okay. Uh, I have Justice League Volume 1 to 4. So this is mostly Grant Morrison's whole run here on Justice League, the first three volumes and part of four. Uh, the Flash by Jeff Johns. I was worried they weren't going to finish this, but they are apparently coming out with the fourth one, so I'm super excited. Uh, Green Arrow, The Quiver, really love this series. I know some people don't, but I think it really redefined Green Arrow. And then here's the 90s series of Green Arrow, uh, 80s and 90s. Um, very cool, very dark, very different, but not like the show. It's still different. Um, I had the first four volumes, really love it so far. Wonder Woman by Greg Rucker. If you haven't heard, he did Rebirth, the first like 30 issues or so, or 25. Did a great job. I have not read this, but I am eager to get to it. Uh, Teen Titans by Jeff Johns is usually claimed as the best Teen Titans series of all time, so I'm pretty eager to get to that. Uh, Batman Incorporated, didn't like it all, but we'll get to something I did like about that. Uh, Batman and Son, when Damien first was introduced. Batman No Man Land, uh, the first volume was pretty good. Gotham Central. Got the whole series, all three uh, double-sized volumes. Uh, we got Nightwing. I have his complete up-to-date so far, the first six volumes of his 90s to 2000s run. Under the Red Hood. Ooh, that scared me. Uh, haven't read it yet. Kind of eager to. Uh, Hawkman uh, by Jeff Johns. Heard it's the best Hawkman. If that's saying much. Uh, Superman and Batman. They like the 90s and 2000s stuff. Um, Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I heard it was really great crossover, the original. Uh, Batwoman, super excited. And then Batman, Batgirl, Stephanie Brown's run. All right. Let's get into Rebirth. Uh, oof, I have a headache. Ah, my allergies are killing me up here. Um, okay, so we have the uh, 
a couple of different ones. We have the Green Arrow. I have up to date the first three volumes. I have Superman up to date the first three volumes. I have the Flash up to date first three volumes. I have Teen Titan Volume One, which is all that's out right now. Nightwing Volume Two and Green Lanterns Volume Two, because I read both ones at the library and I bought two to just get right into it, but I'll probably go back and buy the originals. Hal Jordan and the Green Lanterns, which is great. Doom Patrol, which I haven't read yet. And then Super Sons, which is probably one of my favorite comics out from DC right now. So fun. Uh, here's a couple of other comics I have that I just randomly over here. Uh, Flash Rebirth. That's when Barry Allen came back to the fold as the Flash. And Flashpoint, which a lot of people already know about. Uh, I have the Complete Secret Six run, which is a great series done by Gal Simone. It's just truly amazing. Uh, her first run, the original Secret Six. Then she did New 52 Secret Six, which I heard was pretty good as well. So I'm eager to get to that. And then Superman Reborn is a crossover between Superman and Action Comics for Rebirth. So I'm eager to read that so I can read the next stuff. All right. Sorry. Here we are. The end. Earth 2 had a complete run. Green Arrow, as I said in my videos, the complete run. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, the Flash is okay. Uh, Superman, Earth One's okay. Wonder Woman's good. Shazam is great. Swamp Thing is really good, especially when you get to Charles Soule's run. Animal Man's good. Injustice, Injustice. These are year one and two are amazing. Worth reading for sure. Batman Incorporated is really great once it gets to New 52. Um, and then uh, Batman and Robin, which is great. And then these are just the whole Batman run and Batman and Robin and the Justice League. So this is the whole series for New 52. And my hardcovers. Wonder Woman, Superman American Alien, which I love, and Trinity, and then uh, The Death and the Family. And that is it. That is my complete Nerd Room update. Um, as you can see, pretty proud of it. It's pretty amazing. I have a headache, so I'm going to go lay down because that was a lot of talking. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. All right, have a good one.